Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The question here we have is uh, June 17, 41 variant, question number 10. In worksheet question number three, I want to discuss. So question number three, I am going to discuss. First question is target is f of minus three. So I will copy function of f. So I'm copying function of f as it is. After this, how many x's? I will leave empty spaces as usual, you know it. So what to replace inside uh, in the place of x? Very clear, minus three here and here. So I'm replacing minus three both spaces. So let's see uh, how we can continue. Okay, we are, we are going to replace the value of uh, minus three left side and right side. Okay, I put left and right side. So this is f of minus three. This answer is coming minus nine and minus two become minus 11. So this part, part number A is completely over. Now I'm going to do B part, where B part is what plan, if you look at carefully, He's saying f of x is equal to 19. So first of all, I have to copy fx as it is here. Just make your habit of copying function. In this way, question become much, much easier. Now my students, what to do is f of x is equal to 19. So left full side, full side match with that. I will remove it and I'll copy 19 in the place of f of x. Some student by mistake, they put in the bracket. No, no, wrong. Did not put that in the bracket. Is a full full thing replaced by 19. And rest, you know, is no change. Now, because my target is to get x. So my students, this two will go there. It will add. So 19 plus two. It is becomes 21. 21 equals to three x. Now this three multiplying will divide down. So 21 by three is equal to X and X is equals to seven. This is my B part answer. Now I'm going to do with you C part. Okay, C part, what's the plan of action? F H of two. So put first two in H. So first plan put two in H. So I H of X I'm copying. You can see my planning, how I plan my question. Okay, now what to do? How many axes leave empty spaces? Not even left, even right as well. And this two, I'm going to put in H. So put two here and put two here. So let's see what happens then. I put two here left side and I put two on the right side. Very, very clear plan. After that, H of two is equal to what? And all of you know, three to power two means three multiply two times will give you nine. So I can say that F of H of two is equal to nine. And now I'm writing again words, just showing to examiner that I'm doing the rest process again. And you know that when I put two in H, I got the answer. And that answer I'm going to replace in F. It means I have to first copy function F here. Okay, no problem. I'm going to copy function F here. After copying function F, what is a plan? Plan is so simple, you know it. Now plan is, I'm going to show you. Okay, now left side empty. Right side, how many X is empty? Okay, I will copy. I will copy the left side value name function here and its value on the right hand side. I repeat, if you're not understanding, name of the function in the left hand side and value of the function in the right hand side. Look, I'm going to write for you H of two here and nine here. So I think so up till now, you are not getting any, any trouble. And further, I want to just complete a question and then over. So let's complete. So F H of two, three nines are 27 comes and minus two already there. So I got F H of two is equals to 25. So we have finished A part, B part and C part. Now I'm going to do a part question number three, part B and E. B part is what you can see here. 
is clearly mentioned here. This is a E part, D part, sorry. I'm copying here. So my question is G F of X plus F of X plus X. I will do step by step. How I step by step? Okay, let give one planning. I will call, you can do in rough work or in notebook. No, no rough work, no problem. So I do in the right hand side rough work. What is this means? This means function of F will go in G. Repeat my words if you're not understanding. If I have a F G of X, what is the common planning? Put a G function in F. So this is a planning. So let's start, put function of F here. I'm copying here. And function of F, all of you know, 3x minus 2. Okay, I'm copying. After copying, so what I will do, my students, uh, uh, how many x's, empty spaces on both sides? Done. And now what to do? Because I'm going to put function of uh, f in g. Sorry, I did mistake then. f in g. So I should not copy f. I should copy g. I should copy g. Okay. So when I copy g function, g function is there. So g of x, I copied my students. I got x square. Okay, here empty space, here empty space. Now what to do? Now a very common thing, you understand that I have put, put, a, uh, put a function of f in g. So it means this function name I will copy here, function value I will copy here. So let me write it. Let me write for you. And best way if you do in rough work is good for you. And now I, I think so your plan is very, very clear. And now I'm going to complete. So G F of X is what? 3X minus two whole square. I stop here. Why stop here? Is this match? Yes, match. I'm going to copy its value here. Okay, so let's start. Copy the value here. And I think so you agree with me that this value is this. So all of understanding. But what is next f of x? What is f of x? f of x is this, so copy here. <clears throat> so when I copy f of x value, which is 3x minus 2, and this x I'm copying here. I repeat one by one what is going on. I show in different color. This is a value of fg of x. This is a value of f of x. And this x as it is. So you can see that step by step I have done. And now what to do? Here I have to expand square, and you know my habit. I always use uh, a square identity, and here I'm using square identity. This is answer for square identity. Whereas these two terms I can solve. Three x plus x give you four x. N minus two. I'm copying here. So this is not a big trouble. Now I want to do just inside. And what is inside? Look at here. 3x comes here, wait a minute. So I repeat again, 3x comes here, 3x comes here. So this two will come here and here. So two comes here and two comes here. And let's go to complete. Square of 3x square will become here, 9x to power two. And two threes are six, and that six into two give you 12x. And two square give you four. So four comes here. Okay, this is done, but outside uh, is, I'm just copying these two values, that's it. Now, how many x squared terms? Nothing, only one term is x squared. So let me copy. And how many x terms? Two x terms. And you know, minus 12x and plus 4x. Opposite sign, subtract, I got negative 8x. So negative 8x. Now two terms left, plus four and minus two. So plus four and minus two, again, opposite sign, subtract, I got, this one is very, very clear. I think so this up till now, you are getting everything very clear and I'm going to do now last part, which is a part number E. So now I'm going to do last part and the last part is uh, uh, the E part. E part, we have to find out F inverse of X. So this is our plan to find. So first of all, I copy function here as it is. After copying the function, what is next step? You, you know very well, function name replaced by y. Always y. Now currently y subject, but I have to make 
x subject and you know this first of all these two will add this three will divide because it's multiplying right hand side left side it will divide side changes uh, you know when i flip both side here and there shuffled totally shuffled so no sign change at all this is done no interchanging interchanging means x become y and y becomes x let me write again i repeat so y become x and x become y some student not know this x i wrote y and this y i'm writing x and look at here rest everything same plus 2 divided by 3 divided by 3 and this y replaced by inverse of f and that's it and i'm going to write here so answer i'm writing here f inverse of x is equals to x plus 2 by 3 and the question is fully fully over